The Fine Arts Center Theater Company, a division of the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center at Colorado College, proudly presents Of Spacious Skies, an audio play series. This week, Episode 2, Expedition Log by Jessica Kakoska. Zebulon Pike, one of the best trail bros ever, travels with his small crew as they take us on their epic ascent in the early 19th century using modern day technology. You got it, man? Here, hand it to me. Roll it. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, hey! Nailed it! Got it! Hello, hello to our amazing followers. The sun is out, the stoke is high. We are all here in the beautiful, the unknown, the unforgivingly harsh. We're losing daylight here. Wild, wild west! Here, introduce yourself. I'm Private Miller, and... Cool, now talk about me. Uh, okay. You're, uh, Zeb. A 26-year-old ball of straight-up adventure, Stoke. And we're here in Colorado living the good life. We're also on a mission from the government. The man is right. We're also on an epic mission to find a trade route to Santa Fe. Which we haven't done yet. Map the Arkansas and Red River. Still on the to-do list. And take notes of the animals and plants we see along the way. Definitely done that. My sketchbook is fire. Check out my newest drawing. It's of the cutest little... Later, man, later. Right now, we talk expedition. Dition. For our followers, as you can see, we're all about adventure. Specifically our <coughs> white male ruinous version of it. Hashtag explore, hashtag vanquish, hashtag Santa Fe trade route. Exactly. So here's the deal. We were down here in Pueblo, Colorado, chilling at our stockade, and we looked up, and what did we see? They can't see. You have to tell them. Up north, on the horizon, there's the most beautiful thing. Like a small blue cloud. Not that small. The Grand Peak! So inspiring. Dude! 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 Yeah. So I, called by the siren song of adventure, was like, that's super close. Is it? And the coolest thing in the world would be for us to climb it. Right on. How could we enjoy it without asserting our dominance over it? Oh, wait, we gotta introduce the team. Roll call! Private Miller, previously introduced. Private Brown. And I am Dr. Robinson. Yeah, he always says that. Says what? Doctor. What's with the air quotes? I am a doctor. I'm the doctor on this expedition. Whatever, man. We never see him, actually. Doctor. He might be a spy. I can hear you. And I am not a spy. Anyway, the dude crew is assembled, the adventure goal is set, and tomorrow we send it! I'm our fearless leader, Zeb, and you, dear followers, are going to be with us every step of the way. This is Expedition Log. And the adventure starts now. 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 Play the pump-up music! The jams! The jams! The jams! The jams, yeah. Yes! gets me so pumped. All right, followers, we're signing off for the night. You know what they say, early to bed, early to shred. But first, a vital step in any outdoor expedition, we gotta pack. Okay, we didn't pack. Packing sucks. Who needs it? Plus, it's early fall, we'll be fine. It's uh, November 23rd. Seriously? How do you know that? I'm reading your journal. Hmm. As a spy would. Sick, bro. Does it say anything else? Uh, it says, 
we concluded to ascend the high point of the Blue Mountain, which we conceived would be a one day's march. Nice. So to recap, we're leaving now. We'll get to the mountain by afternoon, climb it, and then come back tonight. Wait, we're walking to that little blue dot up there. Then up it. And then back here in, in one, one day? day? It'll be fine. But definitely take some trail mix. Speaking of, let's hear a word from one of our sponsors. We have sponsors? Of course we have sponsors. This is Expedition, Expedition. Expedition. Oh, you mean Thomas Jefferson. He's sponsoring us on this adventure. No, like fun sponsors. Here, just listen. Expedition Log is generously sponsored by Oats. Granola bars won't be around for another 60 years, but in the meantime, we have Oats. Like granola, except gummy, tasteless. And no chocolate chips. Oats. A meal you and your horse can finally agree on. Okay, we're setting off. It's happening. Three, two, one. So, what do you guys want to talk about? <sighs> hey, hey, <laughs> expedition log. We're here, just north of the stockade, enjoying a bluebird day with me and the damn set of rascals. <laughs> I hate it when you call us that. You do? Yeah, me too. Oh, come on, guys. It's a joke. It's endearing. It's out of love. I didn't know. I always tell you that, man. Yeah, it makes me feel like you don't value what I have to contribute. Oh, hell. <laughs> I'm out here on the prairie with the respected team of strong geniuses. It doesn't flow. I like it. Okay, lads, drop the food. Here? Yep. Uh. Uh. And, uh, why here? My sweet doctor for expedition efficiency. No point in carrying all our food up the mountain and back when we don't need it until dinner, you know? Let's just stash it here, and we'll be back for it tonight. Okay. Hey, you sure about this, Seb? A hundred percent sure. Have I ever been wrong? Well, I may have been wrong. wrong. We're still hoping to get to the base of the mountain by the afternoon. <laughs> That's not seeming likely. We just need to do a little recon. What's recon? It's French for where the hell are we? Come on, guys. Stay optimistic. It's, it's beautiful out here. It's desolate. But wow, look at this great tree. Let's just stop here for the night. What do you say? I'll sleep anywhere if it means we stop walking. 24th November, Monday, end of day one. We marched at one o'clock with an idea of arriving at the foot of the mountain but found ourselves obliged to take up our night's lodging under a single cedar, which we found in the prairie. Whoops! Without water, and extremely cold. Distance, 12 miles. Hashtag adventure life, hashtag send it, hashtag... Better luck tomorrow, we hope. Expedition Log is brought to you by Rattlesnakes. If you think you're alone on the prairie, think again. Rattlesnakes. Their venom destroys your blood cells faster than you can say, stoop. Rattlesnakes. Did you know they're excellent swimmers? Rattles. So, our little hike is taking a little longer than expected. Like, twice as long. It's been two days. No trees for shade, nothing to hunt, no trail. Loyal followers, as you can hear, the stoke is flagging at moderate to low. We are still surviving our adventure dreams. 
Miller, you want a word? He's vomiting blood from exertion right now. Roger that. Any medical insights there? Uh, I mean, it's not good. Yeah, so we're going to be real. We messed up with the whole food stashing thing, and we were also wrong. Wrong. Misguided uh, about... Everything? The weather, specifically, I was going to say. You told me I didn't need socks. Yeah, you should not have taken my advice on that one, bro. But our hard work is not in vain because... Look around, man! We have arrived! At the base of the foothills... Yeah, so that's not great either. But there's one thing we're not wrong about. We will still reach the top of the Grand Peak by tonight. Uh, for the official record, end of day two. Marched early with an expectation of ascending the Grand Mountain, but was only able to camp near its base. We found no water for several miles. Distance, 22 miles. Can you hand me the trail mix? Trail mix, please. Oh. Don't tell me. You didn't stash the trail mix along with everything else. I, um... Did we stash all the food? <laughs> Expedition Log is sponsored by wool. It comes from sheep. If you get it wet, it's never gonna dry. Wool, the preferred material for outdoor adventure wear, if you have no other options. Twenty-six November, Wednesday. I'll keep this quick. Too cold, too hungry. Expecting to return to our camp this evening, we left all our blankets and provisions at the foot of the mountain. We commenced ascending and found it very difficult to climb up rocks, some almost perpendicular, after marching all day. We camped in a cave, without blanket or water. It was snowing at the bottom. Okay, gotta go rally the men. <laughs> I dream of she Jeannie with the light brown hair. Born like a vapor of the summer hair. I see her tripping over the bright stream. Bright stream. Happy as a daisy. As a daisy. some music in the great outdoors. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Godforsaken cave on this godforsaken mountain in a blizzard, and in the increasingly likely case that we don't make it back, I need to clear my conscience. I am a spy. I've been keeping them unsuspecting, but come on, I'm not a doctor. I'm a random non-military observer, just randomly appointed to accompany the expedition. But how could they not see through that? <laughs> My real mission is working for... What's that? Mm -hmm. Who's talking? I'm dying to hear what you're going to say about this. Well, we rose hungry and extremely sore from the inequality of the rocks on which we had lain last night. Go on. And commenced our march up the mountain, and in about one hour, arrived at the summit. Here we found snow waist deep. Reminder, 
We are wearing summer clothes. The thermometer now fell to four degrees below zero. But we reached the summit. You didn't mention the th th twist yet. What's the twist? You didn't say which summit. G go on. For the followers. Sure. Well, at this summit, the summit of Grand Peak now appeared at a distance of 15 or 16 miles from us. We bagged the wrong peak, bro. We have no idea where we are, but it's at least tall enough to see that we're not even close to the Grand Peak. Tell you what, we're, we're gonna have a, a little tea meeting. And while we do that, let's have a word from our final sponsor. Expedition Log is brought to you by Beans. Boring until you're hungry. Then they're the freaking best. Beans. Sometimes they just don't cook right and you'll never know why. Beans. Because you can't spell legumes without you and me. Are you kidding me? What is this? Hey everyone. Sorry I ghosted for a second. A snowstorm hit and we all thought we were going to lose fingers and toes. So it wasn't a great time to check in with the fans. End of day four. Ultimately, part of the Adventure Bro Code is knowing when the epics end is not in the cards. It would have taken a whole day's march to have arrived at the peak space. And I believe no human being could have ascended to its pinnacle. This, with the conditions of my soldiers who had only light overalls on and no stockings, determined us to return. We descended by a long, deep ravine. It began to snow, and we sought shelter under a rock, where we, all four, made a meal on one partridge. Oh, and a piece of a deer's ribs the ravens had left us. This being the first we had eaten in 48 hours. It's always sad to learn, but we really can be sure in this case. The Grand Peak is just not possible to climb. For anyone, of course. Not, not just us. Twenty-ninth November, Saturday. Day six and done. We're back at the stockade. I've never been so happy to see a roof. I truly thought we'd perish. Hey, Doc, that reminds me. That night when we were trapped in the cave during the blizzard, you said some weird stuff in your sleep, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, you were like writhing around and talking. What'd I say? I should tell them. I should tell them I'm a spy. <laughs> no, don't worry about that. <laughs> Still suspicious, but whatever. Well, I gotta say, team, part of my heart weighs heavy knowing that we didn't actually bag the Grand Peak. It just... How will I be remembered? It would take so little for me to become famous. A household name forever, you know? I thought this might be it. Don't worry, man. You'll think of something. Here, let's hug it out. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Spy mission back on. Lost my cool. Got a little weird on the mountain, but uh, we're good now. The next step is to deliver my top secret intelligence to... Nice. <clears throat> God, that was a horrendous trip. Truly terrible. Obscenely stupid. Uh, look, the new guys are here. Hey, the big adventurers. How was the trip? Amazing. Amazing. Man, you just can't understand the joy of adventure if you've never done it. No food weighing us down with its nourishment. No socks with their comfort. No map. Nothing but us. Completely exposed to the elements. Vomiting blood. Singing Wonderwall. People are gonna love this back east. Can I paint your portrait? Let's do it. Gather round, Grand P crew. Stoke on the count of three. One. Two. 
Zebulon Pike. Call her Pike. Pike's Peak. Fascinated by the blue peak in the distance, in November 1806, Zebulon Pike set out with a three-person team to climb to its summit. To this day, the mountain bears his name in honor of this mission. But... The geography of the country had turned out to be so different from our expectations. We were at a loss as to which course to pursue. Unless... We attempt to cross the snow-capped mountains! Zebulon Pike never set foot on Pike's Peak. 